if the cladogram on the left depicts the relationship between animal groups supported by molecular and morphological evidence, when do fossils suggest that the major branch points occurred? Well, given that sponges are the most primitive animals, and the earliest animals known, dating at least to the early Ediacaran period, if not before, perhaps to 700 million years ago, then the origin of all animals seems to date to that time. The majority of the animals in the Ediacaran period are classified as cnidarians, and therefore the origin of the Metazoans seems to had come from at least 600 million years ago, if not earlier, given that animals seeming of the same complexity as cnidarians are the Ediacaran period's most common and most diverse animals. There are a number of organisms which seem to be bilaterally symmetrical, seem to be worm-like, and some seem to be segmented. And so bilaterians seem to have arisen by some point in the mid to late Ediacaran. And in the last 10 million years of the Ediacaran period, there are a number of organisms which are difficult to classify because they seem to have some characteristics of protostome and deuterostome groups, like arthropods or uh, echinoderms or annelids, but not enough to officially classify them in those groups. And so, therefore, the origin of the nephrozoans, the uh, protostomes and deuterostomes, seems to come from around the point of the end of the Ediacaran, and certainly members were present by the early Cambrian. The Cambrian explosion does not occur at the very beginning of the Cambrian, but rather 10 million years or so uh, later, and is associated with uh, the fossils of uh, early arthropods, early fish, and a number of other invertebrate groups. Although the diversification of advanced animal groups come the late early to mid Cambrian, was tens of millions of years in the making. Nevertheless, the rapid diversification of larger, harder-bodied animals is often referred to as the Cambrian explosion. There were a number of factors which may have promoted this, such as the increase in oxygen levels, which allowed larger and more active animals, the rise of large carnivores, the origins of exoskeletons and hard shells, new lifestyles which animals were able to achieve once they had evolved a coelom, a heart, the precursors of limbs, and other uh, more advanced body systems. Embryonic complexity would have been enhanced by the amplification of the Hox clusters and other transcription factors. And so these and other factors may have had a role in promoting this diversification in the Cambrian.